All right, so first, first step, all right, let's just go right back to like, I just got here, I just got out of the car, I'm tight, right? So grab the heavy end, does it say heavy? Yeah. Yeah, and do two, just two swings, just big swings. You're not thinking about anything other than your brain is thinking which body, which muscle is sore? You know, which one is sore, which one's tight? I need to stretch that more, right? So keep your right foot down if you can. Yep, because that'll um, reveal tight muscles. Because if you let that foot come up, it's it, tight. Yeah. yeah, right? So you gotta keep it down. Good. Right now, this is just you kind of getting your body loose. Okay. Now take the saber, put it across your shoulders. Good. So now you're going to keep the twist going. Keep that going. This Good. one. Yep. Yep. Keep it going. Keep your feet flat on the ground. Good. All right. Now go over there to that stick again, like we did. And then let's just kind of point the end of the saber as you go back and forth. Like, let's be a little bit more precise with where we're going. And that's going to remind you, oh, gosh, I need to really drop that right shoulder. So you feel the difference? Yeah. And you can even pick a lower spot. Like, instead of going for here, you can go for down here. Or you can go from, you know, down here. Because basically the, the shorter the club, the the lower you go now don't go side don't go level horizontal you've got a tip yeah like yeah yeah right so as you go back you're gonna be more here okay and then when you come through you're gonna be more here so you're gonna be way more crunched on both sides crunched kind of on the back swing crunched on the follow through and that's the same on your driver <laughs> Yeah, well, it's not as, not as much, yeah. But <clears throat> when you're warming up to start your practice session, these big, slow movements are really important because you're feeling probably even still after hitting, a, you know, basically two buckets of balls, you're probably feeling, well, my knee's still tight. <laughs> yeah, my hip's still yeah, tight, yeah. You know, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, it just takes time but it's worth it. So then you come back to your station and now you think, okay, now I got my motor. So you're gonna keep that, go to the light end. Now you're gonna add timing. So we got range of motion is the first step, just big. Then we have range of motion on a particular angle. Now we're gonna do the angle, but we're also gonna get the timing. So you pause for a second and then you snap it. There you go, good. There you go, that was good. Yeah, you don't have to go fast, you just have to go early, right? Yeah, and then once you've done the snap, it's it's not over, right? You can't, you, you just don't end your swing. Once you've snapped it, you gotta keep your head down, right? You're not looking up, keep your head down and your arms go circling all the way through. So hold your follow through on this one. Snap and hold, hold, hold there. Right, this is tight, right? Mm -hmm. Tight, like across yeah. here. Like yeah. you gotta keep that stretch going. And then once you've done that with the saber, that's you know what you're gonna do. If you keep this routine and you do it in the living room and the garage, and then at the first you know warm up session and constantly do that, then the motor that we're building is gonna be way more consistent. And then your first club will be like a six iron, five iron. Um, you can even use a... It really helps your chances of getting injured, too. Oh, for sure. Yeah, because what, what happens is most of the time, you know, especially as the weather gets colder, muscles are tight, and you're like, oh, I'm rushing to the tee, and I'll just hit a couple balls. Yeah, yeah. And then you wrench your shoulder, you, you, tweak, you tweak something in your wrist. It's always something. Yeah, so big, big turn. Yeah. And then just like working with the saber, you want the, the you want the energy and the pace to be slow, kind of full. When you're starting. Yeah, big swings, slow swings. Don't rush it. So much better. Yep. And then what's important, especially you know, in the first ten or fifteen shots, don't look up and don't try to look and see where they're going yet. You're just trying to you know, complete the range of motion in your body. Good. And you'll know. You, you know, can hear it. Tell you can so. hear it. You can kind of feel it. It feels solid. Yeah. Big, big, big rotations. Keep your head down. 
kind of watch really good, right? Now, I would say that that follow-through position is probably the most important to get to relaxed. And, and the only way to get there is to do it. Your, your body is tight, right? So hold your finish all the way through. That's fine. That's fine. Don't stay there. Do, just, oh, no, just, yep, just hold the finish. Yep, go in. Good. Now go there. Put your right foot down. Bring your head down to the ball more. Take a couple big breaths. Relax. Big exhaling breaths, right? You want to feel at this point that this is kind of heavy and kind of sinking, and you're like here. And your body has to know that it can get there. Because if it's not loose here and it's tight, it won't, it won't want to get there. And that's so key for you to strike that oh, ball. God, yeah. wow. So kind of like yoga, you know, you get to a certain position in your yoga stretch and then the instructor's like, okay, you know, take some big breaths, yeah. like sink into it, get that feeling. Yep, nice and loose. And do it slow, big, easy, slow swings. Good, there you go, find that spot, yep. And now, once you feel like your body is getting there easier, then you can add a little pop. You know, then you can kind of, just like with the saber, you can snap it with your hands a little bit more. Big turn. Yeah, there you go. Really nice swings. And what's interesting about this thing, and one thing you have to really take into consideration when you come out, I think it was Jack Nicholas said, his first 40 balls, he couldn't care less where they went because he's just trying to make contact. And that's the best golfer of all time saying, contact is the goal. He's not looking up going, oh, I'm 10 feet from the pin or 20 feet. No, he's just contact. Um, big, easy swings, get your body warmed up. Don't overthink it, kind of take deep breaths. Yeah, that's all right, right? But it doesn't matter. You're just getting your body loose, yeah. Big, big, slow swing. Right now, can you feel then there's, there's an extra little effort of speed that you're putting in? Yeah. So sometimes going faster makes you think you're doing it earlier, but then everything goes fast and, you, and nothing times up well. So on this next one, um, push the hands out sooner, right? On the right side, a little sooner, but do it gently, do it slowly. It's full but it's easy. Yep, try one more, because that was a little rushed. Big, big, slow shoulder turn, and then kind of a little gentle throw with the hand. No, no, that was actually really good timing, but you popped up. Popped up. <laughs> yep. So here's, let's pause on that for a second. Give your second body a chance to kind of relax for a second. But here, that was the top. We're going to put that in the catastrophic error category. If it's catastrophic, dribblers, massive chunks, like over here, over here, it's all set up and posture, okay. right? So you might think, oh, I rushed it or I didn't time it right. Well, no, it was bad enough that it had your head came up, your shoulders came up, something in setup and in posture was off. So that's how you know what to blame. Now, some of these have been really nice. They've taken off and they've had a little fade or a little draw. That means your posture was really good because you got solid contact, but your timing was off. That's where you want me to get a little... Just to tip it just a little sooner. So we can't have ca ca catastrophic error. So we have to hold that posture, which means we have to come through looking at the world sideways. We got to keep our head down longer. Good. And you got the early throw which meant you hit the ground a little too much and it went a little to the left, but that's better than okay. to the right. Yep. Same thing. Keep your head down, give a little early throw. There it is. That's how we get that sound. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Just nice and easy, big turn, keep your head down. There it is, really good. <clears throat> then you can switch to the driver. So let's do a couple drivers. And then at any moment, if you're swinging and you're thinking, well, you know what, right about now my, I can feel a little tension in my lower back. 
or you know I feel my shoulder like my right shoulder isn't stretched out enough just go back to the saber the saber is going to be your friend because you're not hitting a ball and what happens when you hit a ball with tight muscles you're going to get a bad shot so then it's not just a physical problem it becomes a mental problem so that's where you eliminate the club and you swing the saber and you get the feels that you're looking for that's really good body's looking much more relaxed yeah go easy Pretty good. That was straight. So that means timing must have been pretty good. Yep, another one almost exactly the same spot, so that's good. Not bad, right? You hit the ground a little bit, but everything squared up and it went nice and straight, right? So then go back to the pitching wedge. So now we're going from the middle club, like a, I would say a six, a five, or a four hybrid is a good club to do your first 10 or 20 shots. And then once you're feeling like, you know, I kind of got that grooved, go to the driver and then back to the wedge. That'll be the order that you go in. Same thing, no need to look up. You have a, a more vertical angle now, right? So do those swings. Your sh right shoulder is going to be lowest on a on a sand wedge, so this is a pitching wedge. You're going to have to stretch under more. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, really nice. Yep, nice and high, pretty straight. Good. So the, the pace that you're moving at now is so much slower than when you started. And we were talking about that. You kind of came out. We weren't sure if the weather was going to hold. And your personality is kind of go, go, go. Yeah. So you kind of rushed it. And we skipped a step. We didn't really groove that saber. So that's really important. We got to get that. Oops. Right? It was, a, it was a top shot. Went to the left. Catastrophic. Something in your posture popped up. So just stay down there a little longer. Yep. Yep, there you go. Right? So, so far we're at basically 13 minutes. And that we're just still warming up. So that's... Yeah. And really, we were already quite warm before we did the video like i said i might i might literally spend 20 minutes swinging the saber before i hit my very first shot and then it's going to get your mind back into golf because golf isn't everything in life you've got a whole nother life outside of golf <laughs> no, <that's laughs> <correct. laughs> so you it's just you know it might as well be a reminder tool yeah Okay, well, what am I doing? Where am I? I'm on grass. I'm out here. I've got a swing. And like I said, the most valuable place that you can re replicate this process is probably in your living room or in, okay. in the garage or somewhere where you're, you're getting, you're keeping this motor running. It's not, it's not kind of getting tight. Right. So, um, and then what we'll do now is we'll go do some short game and some putting because obviously you've got to be able yeah. to score. You can't just. Uh, We're not playing today. I uh, no, I don't, I don't think, think so. Mm -hmm. No.